I'm giving all praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahshua Hashem, to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect out there. Shalom to you all. Anyway, I'm going to entitle this video. I'm going to make this short. Somebody asked a question asking me to do a video on a univer universal product code or UPC. So I'm going to entitle this video The UPC and Revelation 13 and 18. Which Revelation 13, 18, you read couple of verses above that 17 verse 16 verse um so when it goes into 16 verse matter of fact i'm gonna go ahead and read it the universal product code came about in the 70s i mean you can look it up guy I just read about the guy who invented it um so let me go to revelation 13, I'll go to 16, and he causes all both small and great rich and poor to receive a, to re rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark, the word there, all you, all you got to do is click on the word mark in the blue letter, um, and the word mark is karagma. You look up, the, go into the word mark or the karagma. It gives you the, you go into the root, it's karax. You go into the word karu, um, karax, it's, uh, it's grapho. And so what you can do is, you see how many times the word uh, karagma is written in the scriptures. It's written eight, nine times in Revelation. Revelation 13, Revelation 14, and so forth. Revelation 20 um, and it's also written one other time that's in the book of Acts I believe that's Acts 17 if I'm not mistaken where Paul speaks about us being sons of the Most High but you're not you're not to look at the the father of the Most High as something physical that like a, a like something graven you know in other words we're not his physical sons, we're his spiritual sons. It says to receive a mark. So this is not sin in all of its forms. It's not sleeping with white women. It's not it's not sin. It is a sin. Um it's it's an actual device, an actual physical thing. And their right hand, their literal right hand, and if you're left handed it, it also applies to the left hand because the word right, I believe the word is dextrose. It's something to that effect. I'm not going to click on it. But it does mean right. But if you're right-handed, I mean left-handed, that's your power hand. When they say, when, they, when somebody says, speaks about your dexterity, how well you can work with your hands and doing certain things, your power hand could be your left hand, so that would be your right hand. But... For the, and America is going to be the right hand, and Europe is left hand. You may have certain people have it in their left hand or in their foreheads. That goes back to uh, uh, Elon Musk, the uh, Neuralink, which he purchased that company. He didn't. He didn't come up with the company. He didn't. He didn't invent it. He purchased the company, and it was all about putting chips inside your brain. Or in their foreheads. That's your that's your neural link. And that no man might buy or sell. So you look these words up, buy and sell is a transaction, whether you're buying something or selling something. Save he that had had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that see these guys can't get it because they don't have the wisdom of the most high. That's why they can't get it. But why can't they get it? Why can't I see it? Because you ain't got the wisdom of the most high. Is it here is wisdom. Let him that have have understanding. You lack understanding. Count the number of the beast. For it is a number of, of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. So how do you do this little formula right here? Um bear me for a minute.
Strong's G5516. Chai Ksai Stigma. Chai Ksai Stigma. Chai Ksai Stigma. So we want to look up the word stigma. I don't know if it's going to come up here, but I'll, I'll find it. That's why it says he lets him or have understanding and wisdom and understanding count the number of the, of the beasts. Strong's G 5516. Chai, Ksai, Stigma. Chai, Chai, Ksai, Stigma. 60 and Stigma is 6. Now, when you go to the 13th verse into the blue letter, it tells you that the stamp put upon the people that bow down, not too many words, to the Antichrist, which there's no such thing as Antichrist, plural. And the word six goes back to the word cut. You got the word sex. When you deal when you deal with the kingdom, we're gonna be dealing with virgins only, and we're gonna cut get what we have in between our legs cut. And as I'm not gonna go deep into that story, but if you ever have a, had a virgin, which I doubt you have, which means they're going we, they, we're gonna get them very young, 12, 13 years old. And um, we we, you know, we're not when we get these women, they're all gonna be virgins. Why? Because we're gonna be priests, and only a priest a priest can only have a, a virgin. He can't have a widow, a wom a woman that's been divorced. He has to have a virgin, a woman that was untouched. So the the whole nation of men will be, you know, will be priests. So if you have a thousand women, every last one of them. What what makes a woman your own is um, you 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 got with a woman that was untouched. So let me do this. Let me put the word mark marks. Apostle Paul said, "I bear the marks." Let's see if it comes up. So the beginning stages of the of the um the micro C hip um MO, MOTB system, this is back to the basics, a lot of y'all know it. It started with the universal product code, which people got it in the seventies. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go into it go into it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so in the Hebrew, the word there is marks. And I believe that's quite quite. So is there a law in the Old Testament that says you can't get this karagma? Yes, that's right here. Leviticus 19 and 28. You shall not make any cuttings, cuttings in your flesh, hand, forehead, butt cheek, for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am ya I am Yahweh. And you know when people are serious and they're gonna seriously and they're gonna wake up and start to think that GMS was right is when it actually comes. When they actually break the news, everybody got to get a C-hip in order to buy and sell, which in the uh, this last week, early in the week, 
last week, I'll say, at a UN, UN gathering. They had a summit, which is a UN ga gathering is a summit. And um, you had an African um, a leader, president, whatever, prime minister. And he mentioned uh, what, pack, pack of the future, a pack for the future. And he said, he said, uh, and this is a short speech if you look it up. And he said, uh, pack for the future is in, is, is in our hands or something like that. Something to that effect. I did a video on it. Uh, so right here, let me see. So the word there for Mark is quai quai, which means what? Incision. So the Hebrew equivalent for the word Mark would be um, uh, quai quai. Incision in imprint in printment mark incision what does incision means to cut that's where you get the word scissors from and it's mentioned in the scriptures one time let me look at the root of the word See, this thing is right at the door, and it's going to bug a lot of these different Israelites that are in different camps that their teachers tell them it's not talking about a, a, a micro C hip, talking about sin or whatever they say. They, those that watch our videos of Sneak sneak and Window Shop, they're, gonna, they're not going to know what to do. They're not going to know what to do. Okay, so this goes nowhere. So now let me do this. Um, so that's Kwai Kwai, which incision, imprintment, mark. And both, and both uh, Karagma and the root word Karaks both mean to mean incision. It's, it, it, it also means a palisade or a stake, like you put a stake in the heart of a vampire to kill it. Okay, let me do this. Okay, let me come back over here. Back to the basics. And if you can't see it after I put this video for anybody, then it's not meant for you. You lack wisdom and understanding. So this is Galatians 6, verse 17. From henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of Kairos Hawashai. So let's look up the word mark or marks. And the word is stigma, which is six. Go back to Revelation uh, 13 and 18. The last character is a stigma. Stigma, where you get the word stigmata. From a primary, from a primary, stizo to stick or prick. Now, did Yahushai give Apostle Paul? Did he give? Did he give him a mark? No, it was a, it was a spiritual mark. Stigma also means if there's a woman in the hood in the project, and I meet this woman, and I get I'm cool with the the Jakes that are. And there, like brothers, and, and he'll say, you know that bitch, you know everybody them got into her. And and then I'm, I'm, I don't want to deal with it no more. You know, and that goes on. You know, women, women in the project that goes on big in the project, man. You got women that lay with like half of the men in the project. I mean, among our people, and our people are wicked as hell, man. 
so they they say yo yo she done i got it i got it i'm a homeboy here i got it you know and now you getting it this just your turn she gonna move on from you nigga so you you like i ain't gonna deal with that. i'm turned off by this woman you know and she lying ass asshole what are you talking about i don't do you know them women them big hoes they act like they you know you call them a hoe they want to kill you but they a hoe what's wrong with being called a hoe if you a hoe but uh <laughs> there's a video right here right there hey america's a hoe Amer babylon the great that woman she's the the project represent the whole planet and she's the hoe and everybody's waking to waking up to the fact that she's the whole of the project. Thank the most high he make me make me a woman because I'll probably kill myself. I'm, I'm telling I'm telling you I'm telling you women to do that, but I man, I would hey <laughs> that, that would fuck me up, man. Uh so you women that are women, you you got the spirit of a woman, so you're not thinking that way. Now you got them them women that go the other way they're just demons they just got they just got to be taken out and these these ugly looking box built looking box head looking women they get baby getting these fine women man and the one the fine woman acts feminine and the other one acts butch and they try to dress like that you take them out on this in this on the spot that's why this that's another reason why this place gotta fucking go. You know? This election process for the president is a joke. It, I call it's a reality show. It's a joke. It's a it's a straight up joke. Um so I don't I don't care who if, if Bonnie the purple dinosaur become president, I wouldn't give a shit. Or if he if he was a candidate out of a um nominee, I would vote for him. I say, Yeah, I'm voting for uh, uh, the purple dinosaur, whatever his name is, Bonnie the Pur purple dinosaur, whatever. The Snuffleupagus, I'll vote for vote for his ass. Big Bird, Big Bird, I'm I'm voting for Big Bird, cause it's a it's a joke. This place is dead. Hey, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, fucked up certain places down down south. What is this, North Carolina? And they're mostly Edomites. I don't know if Jake's down there. Everybody that they're interviewing, I'm watching it right now. They done fucked up. This place is, is fucked up, man. Let me see something. Right, even on the financial news is talking about it. Let me, let me go to CNN. Okay, now you're supposed to have the president coming out. I don't know who. I don't know if they got to drag him out. Biden to address Hurricane Helene response efforts more is gonna come more is gonna come this place is done man so anyway so the word the word st stigma is is both a an actual uh stick but it but it's also you got a bad rep reputation it's, it's it sticks on you so in the, in the in the in the case of uh, the Apostle Paul, there was a spirit. It wasn't a, a physical mark. So anyway, so now let's go into the okay. So I'm right here, right? This is WiredMagazine.com. It says why the why the bar, and you can read this. You can read this yourself if you go to wired.com 2020, 20, 2012 UPC Mark of the Beast. Because that's what people are saying. Well, that's called the Mark of the Beast. So it says why the barcode uh, will always be the Mark of the Beast. Why? Because it is. That's a part, that's the beginning stages of the Mark of the Beast. Joe Woodland, but there was another guy. I went to another site where they said the inventor was a different guy. So it was two people that was involved. It says Joe Woodland invented the barcode. Now, why did he invent it? Because the Most High put the spirit on him to invent it. That collection of lines and numbers used to ring up your groceries 
every time you visit the supermarket and as of uh what is it the mid 70s i'm not going to look up the exact year and but i remember it was first came on the scene it wasn't big until i think it was the late 70s and even in the 80s because i used to be a manager of a of a store they didn't have the the barcode you had to punch in the numbers it had to be maybe the the uh, the late eighties or so that everything everything had a barcode barcode on it, a late eighties early nineties if I'm not mistaken. And after, because I remember when you had to punch you had to punch in everything. And after the long time IBMers passed away. Earlier this month, at the age of ninety one the response from certain parts of the web was all too predictable. So they're telling you right here, this is a, so the, the universal the UPC is associated with the market of beast. Remember Esau knows that they, they know that the MOTB is the, is a micro chip. You, you chip, you Jake's don't know. Okay. Let me go, go here. I'm not gonna read the whole article. It said, it's the Mark of the Beast wrote uh, one regular uh, wire con uh, commenter in response to our Joe Woodland tribute, pointing readers to the 16th verse of the 13th. This, this is a magazine that Edomites read. Educated, edumacated Edomites. Edumacated. Uh, 16th verse of the 13th chapter of the book of Revelation. A revelation is the final book of the Bible's New Testament, and among other things, it it for, foretells an apocalypse, which which by the Roman um, Roman Catholic Bible, Revelation says apocalypse. The word apocalypse is revelation. The word revelation it means to pull back the veil, in which a beast will rise, which we know what that is. From the earth, that's NATO and EU, rain, fi rain fire from heaven, which is the missiles, and the, chari the chariots, and lay and lay his mark on all mankind. Yeah, the rain fire on heaven, meaning they were able to uh, send fire in the people. That's also in Revelation 13. They had to, they dropped the bombs. A mark used to buy and sell. So they know that that's what this what it's talking about. So like I said, the ones of you guys in other Israelite camps that are window shopping, either your teachers don't have the wisdom and understanding to un to break it down, pursuant to Revelation 18, or they sold out. You pick one. So put it in your mind. Oh, my, nah, my leader wouldn't do it. He just doesn't know. Well, then you shouldn't follow him. You didn't. You shouldn't follow him. Because he doesn't know. So the Most High haven't opened up his eyes. Do you have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things? Except for that, you're not a man of the Lord. You don't have you don't have the you don't you don't know everything as far as the scriptures is concerned. And I, I already see, man, when they actually make this thing, man, when they put this out to the world and you and it's mandatory that you gotta get it, I already know. The apostle to her is this actually talking about the mark of the beast? Is this talking about the mark of the beast? And I might just ignore your ass. As many scriptures have we, you, you, you demon man, you motherfucking demons out there. As many videos that we put and broke it down, but you didn't really explain it right. You didn't explain it right. Okay, then look, don't follow us, man. Like I said, there's going like I said in the past, there's going to be a major shakeup. You, you you're not gonna be comfortable on that day because you don't know what to do, especially when when you get an appointment to go get that chip. And then a lot of you know that it's the MOTB, but you're gonna get it anyway because your blockhead wife, she gonna get it and you're gonna get weak. Oh, she can eat. My kids gonna eat and I can't eat. Look, we're going to be homeless. You ain't going to have, be able to drive on public roads. You can't buy or sell. You're going to cut your bank account. I mean, they're going, to, they're going to block your bank account until you get that chip. And they're going to kill some of us. So how many of you are willing to die for this truth?
And look, they're telling you right here. That's uh, uh, Revelation uh, 13 and 16. So even Esau sees it. Okay, so let me read this here. When the first UPC scanners arrived in the early early 70s, which wasn't used, I remember I was a, 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 man, a store manager um, at this auto supply store back in the early 80s. 80, was it 83, 84, 85, around there. And they didn't, and they didn't have, they had modern cash, cash registers, but they didn't have nothing you can scan. There were certain areas, certain places that you had the scanners. And maybe they did have it on things, but, I, but you, you would punch in the numbers. You wouldn't scan nothing. I remember when they came out with the scanners and it became, you know, uh, what's the word? Um, ubiquitous. Look that word up. Um, and you kind of, oh, wow, this is, oh, wow, this is something else. And then you had the cashier scan it. Deep, 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 deep. And then they came out with the self checkout. And remember, you had a hard time. To, what, do I, what do I do now? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What do I do now? <laughs> you know? But anytime I go to a super, any store, supermarket, I try to go, I try to just go, you know, small stores you can go to. They don't have it. They got the, the cashier does it. But I'll go to the store. I know what I'm going to get. I'm, I buy five or six items. I'm in and out. And like, matter of fact, certain places, I'll park right with it, right on the side of the store. I don't even park. Because I know what I'm going to get. I go boop, boop, boop. I'm in and out in five minutes. I don't got to wait on no goddamn line, all right? It says when the, when the first UPC scanners arrived in the early 80s. So I was right. It was the early 80s, according to various IBMers who worked on the pro uh, project because they had to make it come to pass. Remember, the Spirit was working on them to come. This is the most highest mark, by the way. So this is the test. There were protests at grocery stores. They said, what is this? Because some of these people were saying, this is the more than a beast. Even, even though the, the, the codes appeared in the Coke cans and jars of applesauce, uh, not right hand, or foreheads, right? Because that came. That's coming now. That's happening now. And watch how, watch how they're gonna do something to make everybody want to get it. And then, and in the years that followed, an urban legend arose. An urban legend arose. Somebody look up the word urban legend so that people can understand it. I'm not gonna go to it. Somebody look up the word urban legend and put it in the chat, please. I would love if the fact checker can do that. Y'all should know who the fact checker is. My main man, goodbye, y'all. <laughs> That's the fact checker, bro. That's the and we fact checking now. We fact checking everything. Why you think we? Why you think we watch? Uh, uh, listen to a uh, um, uh, gen, uh, general uh, Nathaniel to see if he's saying the right. And sometimes he says a lot of the right things. Good, yeah, good. He's always doing the right thing. Sometimes he do the whole night. He said, y'all, they kind of got down. You know, uh, uh, Nate gets a pat on the back if I see him, you know. and uh, But then he'll go off. He'll he'll be going good. Then he'll go off. I said, oh, he went off. We're going to have to make a mini, a video on that. It says, so people was like, you know, this is the mark of the, because I remember the, people, the Edomites, said, this is the mark of the beast. This is the mark of the beast. Many years later, they said, the, the, when you look at the, 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 the actual scan thing, you see three elongated uh, lines, skinny lines, and on either side and in the middle. And they, and those numbers, the computer reads as six. So it starts with a six, the middle of it is a six, the end of it with a six, and then you have certain numbers. I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you that those long, uh, uh, elongated lines represent six. And there's two ways to put up this, the computer symbol for six or any of the numbers. There's two ways to do it. Uh, applesauce, not right hands and foreheads. And in, the, and in the years that followed, an urban legend arose warning gullible types that the number 666 
was hidden in each barcode. Right, that's the elongated numbers. Because if they put the numbers under those elongated uh, barcodes at the, at, the, at the beginning, the middle, and the end, it would be obvious that it's 666. So they had to keep it, keep it, uh, you know, keep it hush hush. Okay, George, George, Laura. Okay, this is the other guy that was behind putting this thing together. Because I read an article on him. But the actual inventor is named uh, Woodlands. Woodland. Who, who designed, right, he designed it, the barcode, as we know it today, expand, expanding on Woodlands, the initial inventor. So he added to it original idea it wasn't an idea it's the most High put the spirit on them to make it remember this is the most High's mark to do what to test the people that's the final test and when the majority of the people of the plant 95 percent of the people get that mark or 98 percent of the people get that mark now the most High can do his thing we're not going to be delivered and, and and tell and accept this uh that the majority of the planet earth we can say 95%, 98% of the people get it. And some of us will be put to death in the process. Most likely our heads will be chopped off. Uh, guillotine. Once received a letter via registered mail from someone who claimed to be Satan. Satan didn't know Satan had a smartphone back then. Hello, this is Satan. What's up? And asked Laura, Laura who, uh, how it felt to have carried out his orders. Satan didn't make the, that's a, that's a topic, that's a topic. Satan didn't make the, the microchip. That's a Satan. Nope, it's a the most high. It's the most high's mark. And that's, and that's there for the, to test you. All of this, <laughs> hell is this pure bunk. It is more important than the fact that my first, middle, and last name all have six letters. Like what? Ron, well, they said Ronald Wilson Reagan is all six six six, and uh, one of the Caesars. I don't know if it was Julius Caesar. One of the Caesars. When you put the name together, six six six. Okay. So that's the. So when this thing came out, there were Edomites saying, "Not Jake, because Jake is stupid. The children of this world are wiser than the children of light, and their generation. That's in Luke." So Esau jumped up and like, yeah, man, this is the mark of the beast. That was the bit beginning stages of the mark of the beast. Okay, and I, uh, in those days, uh, IBM didn't really name its product as much as its number as as it numbered them. IBM's, which is IBM, UPCs from the IBM. International business business machines. You watch uh, 2001: The Space Odyssey. The computer of the spacecraft was called How. You move the letters over. How uh, H I H I. You move the letter I. The previous letter is H. Um, uh, A. You move the letter O over. That's the B. And L M, right? So how how is really the computer, the central computer in the ship in that movie, it was called How, which represents IBM. UPC scan scanning system, which included the scanners themselves, uh terminals a kind of local area uh, network and a controller was called the three was called the three six six uh the three six 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 zero or the 30 or the 3660 however you want to say it but the injured individual scanners were also tagged with their own number three six 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 Bill Selmier, Selmier, an IBM executive who works along Laura and Woodland, the, the, uh, Laura and Wood, Woodland were the inventors. 
He initially invented it and he added on to it because the spirit was working with these guys on the project outside the IBM uh, store systems group. Uh, let me see if anything more about the scriptures. It doesn't say anything more about the scriptures. Let me see. A man approached and told him the code was the sign of the beast, which it was. It's based on Revelation 13 and 18. Like I said, I'm going to say this again. I'm going to say this again. Any of your teachers that's teaching you otherwise than what GMS is teaching or even Sakari is teaching, because Sakari is teaching it the right way. Uh, obvious uh, Genesis is teaching it the right way because they were part of Sakari. The leader of Sakari, Sakari was originally a part of GMS. So when they when they saw us break it down, they said, yeah, that makes sense. The mark that makes you don't gotta show me no more. All right. So So now let's go over here. But you didn't explain it right to her. Huh? Well, I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry, and sisters. I'm sorry I couldn't explain it right. But if you don't, if you get it, you know, you can, that's your ass. Okay, so let me show you something here. You miss a, you miss a day, you miss a lot. I'm going to show you something here. Okay, you see that six? You see this right here? You see there's spaces, no numbers. You see one, two, three, four, five. This is just a an example. But anyway, you, you you see right here? There's three elongated, two skinny. You got fat and skinny, or medium fat, or whatever have you want to call it, thick. You got two lines, which are the same thickness, but they're elongated, right? And one here, here, middle, and the end, right? You see the six right, six right there? You see the six right there? What's right above it? The same lines, the same two skinny lines. That's right, that right there is six. And there's two codes. There's another way that you can make the six, if I can find it. See, like here they're saying it's five, it's not five. Here they're saying nothing, but here... They're saying it's six. Uh, let me give you some more examples. So when the, uni the UPC, the Universal uh, Product Code came out, people started saying, oh, that's the mark of the beast. That's the mark of the beast. Look at that. You got a six and a six, and they're both what? two elongated skinny uh, lines. So what's this? Oh, it's a nine. Nope, it's a six. What's that? It's a six. It's a six. So when you go to scan a bag of chips or Coca-Cola or laundry detergent, you scan it. You go to the South checkout and you scan it. Well, what's going to happen is you're going to still scan things, and then you're going to pay for it with, with the chip in your right hand. Because your bank account, your medical records, your driver's license, when the police pull you over, they say, can I see your right hand? They scan it, they'll get your driver's license, your, your um, insurance, um, and your registration, right? So anyway, so now when you read, when you go back and you read, now you understand it. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna say shalom on to the next one. And if you, if you, if this, when this, not if, but when this thing comes out, when everybody's mandatory, it's mandatory to get the uh, karagma. Um. And you stay, you say, nah, I'm going to go with my leaders. I'm going to go with them. I'm not going to listen to GMS. Them guys are bums anyway. I'm not going to listen to them niggas. They're lying. Them devil's working with them. Okay, well, if you go ahead and get it, and not if you die, it's when you die, 
and you go in the spiritual realm, you're going to be saying, oh, what did I do wrong? You didn't listen to the men of GMS. That, that's what you did. That's what you, that's what you didn't do. You didn't take heed. Okay? And the whole world, like, like I said, when it comes out, a lot of people are going to be saying, oh, shit, GMS was right. With that, Shalom, on to the next.